Hi, welcome to Amy's Book Nook. Uh, the second book I wanted to recommend to you is Margaret Atwood's Wilderness Tips. I wasn't entirely sure where to start with Margaret Atwood. I mean, I feel like people either feel like they know all about her or feel like they know nothing. So I'm gonna try and come in sort of in a, in a middle point. Uh, she's Canadian. She put Canadian literature on the world map in a big way, I think, probably from the 80s onward. Even I mean, she was publishing from the from the 60s, but I think, um, yeah, she put Canadian literature on the map in a new way um, as a writer. Uh, she was born in November of 1939. It's worth remembering the Second World War started September of uh, 1939, so it's worth thinking about the historical context in which she would have been raised as you're approaching her work. Um, her literature is a force to be reckoned with, and I think with the resurgence of interest in The Handmaid's Tale with the Hulu adaptation and her sequel with The Testaments, um, just put her sort of back at the fore of the cultural consciousness in terms of the sexual politics that is in her literature uh, and um, the almost prophetic nature of her dystopias, which is entirely fascinating and disturbing and um, apt and... Yeah, if you haven't read any Margaret Atwood, please start. You don't have to start with The Handmaid's Tale. In fact, I would recommend that you start with short stories. Um, I realize uh, Mark, uh, Bloody Chamber is short stories as well, and I think I am partial to short stories, especially when you're first being introduced to an author. And I think it's sort of like going to the restaurant and ordering the sampler platter. You get a sense of their style um, without being sort of like emotionally committed to a character for several hundred pages. And uh, it gives you a sense of whether you like them or not. So I almost always recommend to friends to read a collection of short stories by an author who I really like, just to see what they like about it, what they don't like about it, and then and go from there. The first thing that I read of Margaret Atwood was Wilderness Tips and I fell in love with her use of language and her ability to create a charged, politically charged domestic moment um, without resolving it too quickly or too prettily and I would absolutely recommend starting there with Margaret Atwood. Thanks!